eight different nights, hundreds of subframes, two types of filters, a studied routine, one telescope, one camera, pointing at one small fraction of the night sky for hours and hours. And all of this for a single image. Capturing a gigantic image of the Crescent Nebula. Come and join me as I finish this beautiful project. A project within a hobby that combines everything I love and opens up a window to the universe in my own backyard. Hi Astroaddicts, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astroaddict. If you've tuned into my channel in its early phase, you might remember Sunny. Sunny. Let's talk about the Crescent Nebula and my plan to edit this data. Tonight I'm capturing the last broadband RGB data with the light pollution filter. This will be the foundation of the final image and it will be extended by the 10 hours of narrowband data I already have. The scope is ready too. The purpose of the tri narrowband filter is to shoot a bicolor or tricolor RGB impression with a one shot color camera. But think about this the two main channels of such an image would be red and blue, because H8 and O3 emit in red and blue. We know that the Crescent Nebula is beautiful in H8, but its full integrity is shown in blue in O3. If we now take this bicolor image, and use these channels to extract HA and O3 into separate images. That would be something, huh? APP can do exactly that. Before loading your images, you can set the debayering algorithm to extract HA and O3, which is mind-blowing. I tried it out once, it didn't really work, but I will have to try again as soon as I'm done capturing all the RGB data. The ultimate goal would be to have an HA03 RGB image consisting out of more than 20 hours of data. Sounds like a lot of work? It is. But if I manage to pull this off, this image will crush everything I've done before. And all I gotta do now is to wait for my favorite time of day. The night. If it is a clear night. Which it is. Every time I show my images to other people at my workplace, for example, they are like, that's Photoshop, isn't it? Those colors are not real, are they? First of all, if I wouldn't use Photoshop, every image would look like this. So your space had a concrete floor on the bottom. It'd be pretty dangerous stuff. But it doesn't. And second, everyone wants to see true color in our images. A nebula should look real, natural, as we would see with our own eyes, right? The problem I have with this statement is... Most of these people have never seen a nebula with their own eyes. Neither have I. Color is only based on perception. Color in an astro image is what you want it to be. Experimenting with channel assignment narrowband combination and selective color boosting through masking are perfect ways to turn normal and boring photography into stunning and wonderful images. At this point I think it could be considered art, even though I don't like it if people use this expression just to praise their images, but as long as we don't shoot true color I think there's a little bit of an art touch to all of this. <sighs> After this little rant I've decided how to process the data. Extracting the narrowband wavelengths did work, but I was not happy with the results since I had to combine these images manually in Photoshop, in which I'm not very good. My new plan is to use the normal debayering algorithm, the adaptive array disk, on all of the images and combining them separately in the APP RGB combined tool. I played around with the values. I assigned the RGB of the normal images, of course, to RGB, the red channel of the narrowband images to red, and the green and blue channel of the narrowband to green. And at this point, it's not true color anymore, but this image was 
amazing. You can maybe hear it, I'm not outside right now. You are seeing the team viewer image of my laptop outside. I'm in my room right now upstairs. I don't think I've showed my screen in the last, in part one of this video. Let me just put the cooling aid aside. So here's what you can expect from the one shot color dedicated astronomy camera. You can see the Crescent Nebula very faint right now. This is the auto stretch function. The image would look like this with no stretch. So better turn on the stretch. When I first saw this I was fairly disappointed because I mean look at this. A bit of this and nothing over here but trust me in stacking everything will appear around here and it's awesome. I'm running three minute subs at gain 120. Binning of course one by one, I really don't know why you should pick two by two, it works just the same. A very cool thing, thanks to a new toy. Look at this PhD graph. I got the new Pole Master. I will show you right now how it looks like, an electronic polar finder scope, let's say, which walks you through some steps to get your polar alignment better than ever. And a graph like this, I never thought something like this could be possible. And I hope, look, look at this dither for example. The scope is so well polar aligned that the dither is gone after like 5 seconds. And these 5 seconds can, if you do many images in one night, not 3 minutes, for example 10 second images, this fast dither will save you many many images, way more time. I only need 11 more to bridge the 20 hour mark. This is the last RGB imaging session for the Crescent Nebula. Back to the cellar. When I first thought about this project, 20 hours of RGB and narrowband data, an image like this could yield some awesome results. And in the early phases of this project I had some overkill ambitions with this image, I'd say. And now as I've seen how the image will probably be like, these ambitions have faded slightly. I don't think I have the editing skills to pull this off, but as they say, dream big. I'm having tons of fun with astrophotography and this channel is developing far better than I would ever have imagined. I planned this reveal for quite some time and I hope it's not too overkill. And I also love making epic, dramatic, entertaining and helpful videos. And you people up there are making this possible. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm having the time of my life right now. I'm happy that this project is over. It robbed me many nights of sleep. But what are some sleepless nights if you get an image that you will have for the rest of your life? If anyone gets that quote, please tell me. <laughs> I will not do my outro this time because it's already done. The name Astro Addict fits quite well. Thank you for everything. Clear skies and...